guys, it's Emily here, and today I thought I would do a fun kind of little research video to a project that I think a lot of us are anticipating, hoping is true, just kind of need right now. If you haven't heard, supposedly not been 100% confirmed yet, bear with me, take everything with a slight grain of salt because you never know. It was announced in, I believe, February of 2018 that there was going to be a Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron show. A few rumors here and there, but it wasn't until I think February of this year that they then announced it. With the Wikipedia page for this calls it a trilogy, and I don't know if it's like going to be a trilogy of like series, like we're gonna have, like it's gonna be like Boku no Hero where every arc is a different season. Like the first arc is maybe like one or two seasons, or just one season, or is it like it's gonna be a bunch of series and just or a bunch of seasons in one arc and then there's gonna be another arc we don't know so i did a little bit of research looking up not only the producer but the director and some of the companies working on it because it's more than one company or animation studio working on it the official wikipedia for this transformers series this is what it says transformers war for cybertron trilogy is a toy line and a transmedia franchise now there is a toy line for, there was a toy line for Transformers War for Cybertron. It wasn't its own toy line, it was just called Generations. Recently there is a toy line um, part of the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy. One of them is Earthrise and another one of them is Siege. That's also two of the arcs for I'm guessing the show. So these figures that are coming out, there's a good chance they could appear, appear in the show. And it looks like they're kind of like a G1 design but a little bit more updated. So I'm thinking this may be like a new G1, but set just directly on Cybertron for the most part. Anyway, the transmedia franchise that is part of the Transformers brand by Hasbro, obviously, <laughs> was announced February 2018 that would not be related to the video game of the same name. So it's not going to be related to the video game, which it would have been cool if it was to see those designs in a more like stylized proportion. But you know what? I'm fine with it not being like the game. That's fine. I just want some show on Cybertron that's not garbage. So then for the synopsis, it says Arc 1 and Arc 2, which are the two toy lines out at the moment. So there's probably going to be a third toy line because it says Trilogy. Like what Hasbro was built on, the Transformers franchise was built on, it was built on a toy line. Maybe this toy line is the arcs of the toy line are going to be directly associated with the show. Like how Transformers was founded, it was a show based on toys, this show is being based on toys. So that's how they go back to the old days. So arc one is called Siege and it says the great war between Autobots and Decepticons begin. They see the origin of how maybe Optimus became Optimus or Megatron became Megatron or maybe they'll just like do a small like one episode of that and skip over most of it and then just go straight into the war. But at the same time, the whole war, Great War started because of the Optimus going from Orion to Optimus and Megatronus going from Megatronus to Megatron. If you've read Transformers Exodus and you've seen Prime, that's the whole lore of how the war really started because both Orion and Megatronus wanted a new government, a new democracy, a new way of judging citizens. Megatronus decided to do it the more violent way and it ended up not being good. He formed his own team, the Decepticons. Orion wanted to go more diplomatic, and they ended up clashing and war. That's the short version of it. Read Transformers Exodus. You will not be disappointed. Maybe they'll do just a one episode talking about it, or maybe they'll do flashbacks in episodes, and that'll how they do it. I don't know. Or maybe they just won't even do that. They'll start off with the war. But it says begin, so maybe the first episode, the war just begins. Who knows? There's a lot of lore they could use. And Arc 2 is called Earthrise. The Transformers leave Cybertron in search for the AllSpark, leading the Autobots and Decepticons to land over Earth. But here's where that sounds a little like, it sounds exactly like the movies, which it could tie into the movies, and this could be like the prequel movie we were supposed to get, but we did, and now it's just going to be in the show format, and the whole show or trilogy could end with them going to Earth. Or what they might do is, like, Arc 1 will be them on Cybertron, Arc 2 will be them leaving Cybertron, landing on Earth, and then Arc 3 will be them on Earth. So it's kind of like G1, but it's updated, which would be awesome too, nonetheless. Then there's a description for uh, something else, and it says, Following the conclusion of the Prime Wars trilogy animated series in July 2018 and the official closing of Machinima in February 2019. Yeah, Machinima closed 
and the Prime Wars trilogy, and which was I think Combiner Wars and the Windblade stuff. Uh, never watched it. Uh, I mean, I watched one episode and I was like, nah. Hasbro's production studio, All Spark and Netflix, announced a War for Cybertron trilogy animated series. So it is going to be a series. Whether we will be getting like one or two seasons or like five, ten seasons, I don't know. Based on how all of other Netflix's animated shows go and the average, um, I would average maybe like four or three seasons. Now it's animated series to be produced produced by Machinima's successor, Rooster Teeth, which they produced that the Ruby show, which a lot of people love. I can see potential there. Alongside AllSpark Animation, which does all of the Transformers cartoons now, and Polygon Pictures for a release schedule on 2020. Now, we had been hearing rumors that it was going to be in June 2020. This just says 2020, so I'm going to go with the summer, maybe closer to the end of summer, just because it would give them more time. F.J. D. Santano, who will turn as a showrunner, while George Krisik, Gavin High Knight, and Brandon M. Easton will contribute as writers. Who is this F.J. Santano as a showrunner? Well, I'm going to look him up right now. Oh! So the director for uh, anime for Netflix uh, has a quote in Deadline.com, which, by the way, anime on Netflix that's specifically made for Netflix is actually not half bad. Is this going to be like, because it says anime, so is this going to be like an anime Transformers thing? Because that like really makes me like hyped. The series will explore the expansive universe of Cybertron in a way that audiences have never seen before. <laughs> As John Duranian, director of anime for Netflix. Oh man. Okay, so Transformers veteran F.D. Santano, who has worked on the, the franchise's animated web series, Titans Return, Power of the Primes, will be the showrunner and more for Cybertron. Okay. Well, I'm not, I don't love those, I've never seen those shows. I've seen like people who don't really love them, but they're not the worst Transformers shows out there, trust me. Be the showrunner after War with Cybertron, which promises a new animated look and style. I'm always up for a new animation style. Contributing writers include George, all these people, um, Gavin High Knight and Brandon Easton. The latter two also have worked on, anim on animated series in the Transformers universe. So they've worked on Transformers stuff before. This is making me a little bit excited when we have like veterans and people who have worked in the Transformers shows before so they can see what's the good, what's the bad, what they should not do, what they should do. Two things they should do, Peter Cullen, Frank Welker. Get them in there, please. I don't care if they're your most expensive asset. If you can only get one, fine. I'll take either or, but just get one of them. Transformers live action movies are kind of in a, a, a strand. Uh, we have Bumblebee 2, but even that, we don't know if it's 100% confirmed. We don't really have anything else on the slate. As for the shows, Cyberverse and Rescue Bots Academy are not their best works. And the comics just switched over, which people still like the new comics. I haven't read them yet, but I'm getting there. So at this point, we need like a change. The only things that are really strong in the Transformers franchise right now are kind of the fandom, the toys at the moment, some of the new toys, and the comics. So we need to we need to bring the visual stuff up a notch, okay? For those that don't know, uh, Polygon Pictures actually did the animation for Transformers Prime. So another reason to be hyped because they're coming back for this. I also want to say in this Transformers origin story, I love me an origin story that's good. We will explore the expansive universe of Cybertron in a way that audiences have never seen before to delight both existing fans good because we existing fans need some good stuff and those coming to the franchise for the first time that's i i appreciate that oh my god okay so gavin high knight has worked on transformer cyberverse which is fine because i i'm okay with that but brandon easton has worked on not just agent carter which was an amazing Marvel show that I wish did not get canceled, but is on Disney Plus, and I really want to rewatch it. I love Agent Carter and Transformers Rescue Bots. Not only do we have Polygon Pictures, who has done the animation for Prime, we have this guy who's written for Rescue Bots. Yeah, we have a veteran of the Transformers franchise. The director of the anime for Netflix wants to do a good job on this, and it's an origin story. 
How can you not be hyped for this? Like, I am so excited. I will wait for this show for the for, till the day I die. With all of these positives and amazing things, it's also a Hasbro production. It's also a all spark animation. With all these people working on it, I hope. Hasbro doesn't just use this as a cash grab. I mean, with all these great writers and all these people, I hope they don't, like, screw it over. I don't know about you, but I'm super hyped for this show. When we get a trailer or something, I will sure as hell react to it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how excited you are for this show. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Love you guys. Bye.